Uh, Mr President, my question without notice is to the Deputy Leader of the Government, the Minister for Education yeah, and yeah. Early Childhood Learning. Given you are unable to provide a delivery time frame for a new primary school in Gregory Hills in your October 20, 2021 answer, did you authorise your colleague, the MP for Camden, Peter Sidegreaves, to inform the community? To inform the community. Well, now people of Camden know him. That's what matters. Did you inform your colleague, the MP for Camden, Peter Sidegraves, to to inform the community support for Gregory Hills Public School Group that the school will be completed in late 2022? and open to students in early 2023. So, Mr President, uh, I thank the member for his question uh, and also an opportunity to um, highlight the great work being done by the member for Camden. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's great great local local member. Member. Yeah. For his yeah. school yeah. community. <laughs> his school communities, Mr President. Um, we are, as I've <coughs> said in the House before, uh, very committed uh, to the uh, new primary school out there at Gregory Hills. Um, early planning works were first announced in the 2018-19 budget, funding to deliver the new primary school was secured in the 2021-2022 uh, New South Wales yeah, budget. Yeah. Um, procurement for, uh, of a project manager and cost manager to support planning and delivery is underway. Procurement of architect, civil and structural engineer and building services engineer to support planning mm -hmm. uh, and delivery is targeted for late 2021. Uh, building contractor procurement to take place uh, in uh, late 2022, Mr President. Now, the member has asked me, do I have conversations with the member for Camden? Of course I do. I speak to them all the time, oh, as I do many members about uh, infrastructure projects uh, in their electorate. He's very passionate about his community and delivering uh, what uh, what our government has committed to. He's in trouble. So, uh, oh, we are very yeah, happy uh, with the uh, time on. frame that we are on uh, in terms of uh, the new primary school there at Gregory Hills, as I said. Uh, we expect building contractor procurement to take place in late 2022, and normally then uh, works can start shortly thereafter, which I believe is consistent with what he has shared uh, with his local community. Thank you, Mr President. If the minister could elucidate that part of her answer where she said that the procurement contracts would be completed in late 2022, and could she then reconcile that with the conversation that she said she had with the MP for Camden, and therefore whether or not he had in fact been authorised to say that it would be completed in late 2022? Uh, well, Mr. Mr President, I'm not going to, um, you know, get into the details of the oh, numerous sure. conversations that I have with relevant uh, and uh, all of my colleagues, Mr. President. Um, you know, and I don't necessarily want to be verbaled by those opposite or, or speak for, for the member for Camden, who's obviously not in this House. Uh, my understanding is that he's communicated to uh, his local constituency um, that work would start in late 2022. That, as I said, is consistent with our procurement and uh, timeframes in terms of our building contractors as well. So um, that's, uh, I'm, I'm very comfortable with that. Thank you, Mr President. I rise to, to participate in this take note debate and in particular address the answer by the Minister to the question that I asked about Gregory Hills Public School. And you've got to wonder, Mr President, what the poor old people down there in Gregory Hills have been waiting some 10 years for this school. And the question I asked was, given you were unable to provide a delivery time frame, for a new primary school in Gregory Hills in your October 2020, 2021 answer, did you authorise your colleague, the MP for Camden, Peter Sidegreaves, to inform the community support for Gregory Hills Public School that the school will be completed in late 2022 and open to students in early 2023? Now, I'll just for the benefit of the House, for the benefit of the House, Mr President, I'll read out the email that the local member has sent Miss Martin from that group. And he says, the new Gregory Public Hill School was announced on Wednesday, June 16, 2021, at the site of the new school. The school project is currently going through state significant development planning approval. It is expected that the school will be completed in late 2022. So you've got the, the member, Sidegraves, telling these people that the school will be delivered in late 2022, subject to planning approval. This would lead, this is what he says to the residents down there, this would lead to the school opening to students 
in early 2023. Now today, in question time, the minister answers my questions by saying that the building contractor procurement would take place in late 2022. So, the, uh, so what the minister tells us here today in the House is that the procurement for the builder only occurs late next year when this bloke's running around telling people it's going to be finished. The liar. Now, what do you think the residents down there think of this government who are promising them things for 10 years and they're still now misinforming them about when this school gets delivered? Cool. In the supplementary question, she says work will start in late 2022. So what is it? Is it the minister telling us the truth or is it the local member telling the truth? He's telling the residents one thing while his minister says that construction won't even start till late next year. Is it any wonder that the people of New South Wales and in, in particular the people of Gregory Hills have zero faith in this government delivering on their projects, getting elected on promises that they simply don't deliver and won't deliver?